Hey guys, so one of my favorite things about being on YouTube is reading the comments. I literally have a session every few days where I sit down and make myself a coffee first and then I'll sit down and I'll read your comments and I literally just cackle. You can ask any one of my housemates, which you won't do because you don't know them. But you know, if you were to ask them, they would tell you. At this point, I've been able to read sort of most of them, which has been really awesome. If my ability to present the types accurately has at all improved, um, in the last few months, it's because of you guys helping me to understand your type better through your comments. So I really appreciate you guys leaving them. And I thought today I'd just read some of my favorite comments because honestly, some of your comments are so funny that I'll be just going about my day and I'll just think about one of them and I'll start laughing out loud. Your response to the videos that I make makes me excited to keep making videos. If I picked out and read all of the comments that I loved, we would be here for a very long time. So I'm not going to do that. I'll just pick a few that um, I've sort of been screenshotting on the way. So our first comment is from a lovely user called Tony Stank about ENTPs. Single from the womb, single to the tomb. Is there anything more ENTP? than this comment. I also think it's very apt that they've got Robert Downey Jr. as their, <laughs> as their um, icon, because he is one of the most iconic ENTPs, especially as Iron Man. I mean, we don't really know his actual personality, do we? But as Iron Man, he is one of the most iconic ENTPs and one of the most obvious INT ENTPs. If you disagree with that, I'll fight you. <laughs> Just kidding. Our next comment was left on my how to sell a phone to the 16 personalities video. And it is from Claire and she says, I want that phone so bad it's sad. I lost my AirPods while they were in my ears <laughs> and I thought I was going dead because I couldn't hear my bro speaking. Not gonna lie, that was a real low point for me. <laughs> oh my gosh, you ENFPs make my life. Where would we be without you? I can just imagine ENFPs being like, where are my e AirPods? Where are they? Huh? I can't hear you. Oh my gosh, I've lost my ability to hear. What's happening? What's happening? Okay, this next comment was from Hugo Wells on my 16 personalities go 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 a tea wherein I was trying to differentiate between the ESTP and the ESFP and I literally couldn't make up my mind so I went and talked to my housemates about it and in the video I said something along the lines of I even went and asked my associates to help me work out what type this tea was and Hugo has left a comment saying my associates cats assemble we have a pressing issue here now Hugo I don't know what you're trying to say there um but I'll have you know that I don't have any cats it was my plush toys. Next comment is from hello there on my 16 personalities interacting at a cafe. I'm an ENFP, but I hardcore relate to the INFP one. Ever since I was a little kid, people always complain about how long it takes me to decide. So as a result of this, I now have the ability to speed order by scanning menus as fast as I can and picking something to avoid holding everyone else back. I respect that. Usually it ends up going like this. Waiter, so what would you like me? Grilled cheese! I love that, it's like you, you're so paranoid about making the right order that you decide, okay, we are not budging on this order. We've decided on the grilled cheese. We're not even gonna listen to the specials that the waiter has to say. Okay, the waiter's approaching, the waiter's approaching. Don't listen, don't listen, just say. Hi there, can I help you today? What would you like? Grilled cheese! Oh, but we don't actually have grilled cheese on the menu. Grilled cheese! I want the grilled cheese. Side note, whenever hello there leaves a comment on my videos, I literally picture Shrek talking to me. So in this comment, I literally picture Shrek's voice going, I don't care if you've got grilled cheese on the menu. I want my grilled cheese. Genuinely appreciate this because I'm a little bit like this as well. I like to look at the whole menu and know that I've like scanned all the options to make like the best decision. I usually end up going with like the most basic option at the end of the day. So something that I like to do when I go out, unless it's with someone with whom I'm very comfortable is take a look at the menu before the meeting so I'll go online and already take a look at the menu so that I can go and be like look all like whimsical and be like oh yeah I'll have the uh, chicken fried rice please why is that the most exotic thing that came to my head and it looks like I'm super decisive in those moments when I'm really not Next comment is on my 16 personalities interacting at a cafe from Dino Bones oh Dino Bones aha Love your guys' usernames. Am I in TP? Can confirm my first ever job was as a dishwasher. My greatest fear was working the register. Second greatest fear was my ESTP coworker telling me about his pickup truck with flames posted all over it again. <laughs> is that not classic? Just like ESTP, just like, yo, I love this truck. I have flames on it. I'm gonna be telling the world about it. I'm picturing this poor person 
being a dishwasher and like trying to come in and out from work escaping the ESTP so they're kind of just like okay it's time to go home I have to pass the I have to pass the register that means that the ESTP is going to be there and he's going to want to tell me about his truck don't maintain eye contact just go just go quickly okay okay oh I can't actually see him around oh my gosh I might be clear of this sweet today's looking like a good day and the ESTP just like pops out of nowhere hey man my truck's missed ya. you want to come say hello Okay, our next comment is from Samuel Matthews. My mum and my brother are ENTPs and my dad and my sister are ESTPs and I'm an INTP and we've pretty much agreed that board games aren't for us. Oh my gosh, two ENTPs, two ESTPs and an INTP. Yeah, look, fair enough, Samuel Matthews, fair enough. I kind of want you guys to reconsider that though because it could just be so epic. Think of all the strategy. Think of all the burns. Thanks for your comment, Samuel. This is from Roman. Plot twist, the person asking the INFP for help was actually one of their imaginary characters. Ah, <laughs> oh, rip. Question for you guys in the comments. If you're an INFP, do you actually have imaginary characters? I would imagine you do, because you're probably interested in creating plot lines and worlds. And so, of course you do. I think that's awesome because I occasionally play D&D with my friends and I really struggle to be in the imaginative realm for too long. I need to have something tangible with my hands to play with or to represent whatever's happening in the game. So I have a lot of respect for people who are able to just spend long amounts of time in their imagination without their energy being drained. Next one's from Rocky on how to get the 16 personalities to help you with something. Can she go a single video without completely obliterating the INFPs? Okay, real talk here, guys. I am totally aware that the INFPs get the short stick in literally so many videos on the internet. I mean, my most recent video was a classic example, 16 personalities interacting in the, on a rainy day, and the INFP was just next level meme. I mean, I'm sorry, INFPs. I guess maybe you're so different from me that I enjoy playing with your stereotype, especially. <sighs> but you're just so lovable. And I must say the INFPs who have commented on my videos seem to have taken it really well. So cheers INFPs, you guys are awesome and I appreciate your good humor. Next comment is from Wardfire on the same video. How do you fold towels again? Lameo that instantly got my ISTJ soul, just let me do it. It'll be more efficient that way. Yeah, sure, whatever other problems you have, I'll show you the correct and efficient way because they know. And then Brumby jumps on. So. How do you fold fitted sheets? All jokes aside, can we talk about how to fold fitted sheets? Next comment is from DP Paul on the same video, how to flirt with an INTP. Do you want to see my bookshelf? The philosophy section is in chronological order. <laughs> okay, would this actually work? Perhaps, INTPs, let me know. Would it work if someone came up to you and was like, Hey, so like, do you want to come see my bookshelf? I haven't cleaned it in a couple of years. There's dust lying everywhere. It's got that real musky smell. Some of the books are unopened. Next comment is on 16 personalities of board game night from Elon Pizza. Me thinking five moods ahead in tic-tac-toe is not at all necessary, but it is effective can't relate at all, but I have seen this happen in the INTP's brain, I feel like. One of the things that just baffles me about INTP's, and I have two close INTP's in my life, and I play board games with both of them, they just have a perpetual poker face on. You just don't know what's going on. As opposed to like me, whenever something happens I'm not pleased with in a game, I'll be like, <sighs> and you can immediately see it on my face. Whereas with INTP's, it's like, yes, yes, it is pleasant weather. Yes, thank you for coming. Yes, I'm choosing to obliterate you. Next one is my 16 personalities seeing a therapist. INTJ here. When I started therapy, I was very closed off and talked exactly like the INTJ. Then, after years of breakthrough, I can now talk like the INTP. A hilarious comment, made even more hilarious by the comment underneath it that says, It's evolving just backwards. Now there's logic you cannot argue with. Dracon writes on the same video, ENTP secretly read over a hundred relevant books, argues that possible flaws or strengths gives the therapist an existential crisis. 
this is the reason why I wrote off psychology from my list of potential careers. Comment from Emily Bell on the same video, ENFJ who relates heavily to the INFJ one here. Also that reverse UNO is very real, I have definitely been found guilty of needing to consciously stop myself from trying to provide therapy to therapists. This was a very common sentiment in the comments from ENFJs, and I just want to say you guys are an absolute hack in the best kind of way. I love you guys. I honestly think it's incredible that you guys care about, like, so much about other people's issues and the state of their happiness. If I was to covet one quality in other types or other cognitive functions, it would be that, like, really good grip on FE. Because I touch on FE sometimes, I feel, but when I really am super in my SE mode or, or in my TE mode, the FE just goes out the window. But you guys just seem to be, like, operating in it just, like, all the time. And I'm like, yes. Yes, I will tell you about my problems. Yes, I will take you up on the opportunity to talk endlessly about myself. Next one was on one of my typing teas videos. Next time they ask me to be more organized, I'll justify myself saying that I'm a starry-eyed constellation of velvety smooth notes. I personally think that that would work a charm. I love picturing these scenarios in my head. The ENFP gets in trouble for talking too much in the workplace or something and they're like, but don't you know I'm a starry-eyed constellation of velvety smooth notes? <laughs> Haven't you heard? Comment from Nick Merchant on my most recent video. So far, I'm only watering and talking to my real plants. I have the fake ones, don't mind. <laughs> I know that was a joke, but I found that hilarious. On the same video, J Deb says, generally true, but I'd be more likely to walk or water a fake plant because I didn't notice it was fake in the first place. Very INFP. The comment underneath it from, I'm sorry, that's a really beautiful looking name, but I do not know how to pronounce it. Sometimes I think to myself, how's the paper gonna feel if I put it in the trash? I'm an INFP. And then the comment underneath that says, this is why I usually disassemble broke things before throwing them away. Is this true? Is this how you guys live? I need an answer. Love it. On the same video, that ISTJ looked like she was going to start dancing weird at any moment. I don't know what you're talking about. From Sylvia on one of my Typing Teas videos, I wonder if you could find existential crisis flavoured brew for INTP. <laughs> Just imagine an INTP going into like a tea store and being like, hmm. Do you have any, um, do you have any teas that are gonna evoke an existential crisis? It's been a while since I had one. Or on the contrary, do you have any teas that are gonna make me not have existential crises. They just, they haunt me all the time. I've heard your teas have healing properties. Do you have anything that's gonna, oh, what am I talking about? An ITP would not speak like that. <clears throat> Excuse me, sir. Um, do you have any teas that would combat existential crises? I can't seem to escape them. INTPs, question for the comments. What are your favorite tea flavors? Next comment from NZ Lioness, New Zealand Lioness. My neighbor, how you going? I like how you can tell the ENFPs in the comment section because instead of comments, they've left essays. <laughs> this is such a call out and it's kind of, kind of accurate. Not accurate all of the time, but, um, ah, oh, the ENFP essay is, is an old friend of mine. I have an ENFP sister and she talks in essays a lot of the time. Love you if you're watching this. And it's actually uncanny how many ENFPs seem to talk in a similar way in this sense. ENFPs, ENF, please keep leaving your essays in my comments. Thanks. Next comment from Brother John on my rainy day video. INFP whispering to plant. You're the only one who truly understands me. You soak in your rain. I'll soak in my emotions. <laughs> and then, and then Marquis de Lafayette, great name, comments. Dear plant, blink twice if you need help. <laughs> you guys just meme yourselves and I love it. You guys have an awesome sense of humor. Please continue making these jokes. The dream. Johnny Horan says, as an INTP, I can confirm that that is, in fact, a rose. Now that in itself made me laugh, but the following comment made me laugh even harder from Jack L. As an INTJ, it's actually my job to confirm that. Stay in your lane, dude. <sighs> my literal favorite thing is when you guys take something utterly ridiculous that I've done in my video and then extend it and go with it in the comments. It's so funny. And 
This combination of comments I literally saw and I was like, I just love how everyone in this audience is like a good sport when it comes to this stuff. Next one from Lost Boys on my video, 16 Personalities Driving. As an INTP, this is why I don't drive, lol. That got 259 comments. Wow, INTPs, are you okay? Hey, you guys, that's all the comments I have time for today. There are so many more, as I said, that I get a lot of joy out of. I just wanna really double affirm you guys for constantly leaving really positive, just insightful, optimistic comments on my videos. I honestly love reading them. And I think it's a really special time at the moment um, being able to connect with all of you guys. And I really appreciate that. Also, you honestly make me laugh so much. So please don't stop doing that. But it's not just the funny comments I like. I also have loved a lot of really insightful, beautiful, vulnerable comments. So thank you for showing me some of your heart in those comments. I feel like I'm learning a lot from you guys, which is awesome. Um, anyway, I hope that this, uh, this video brought you some kind of joy and helps you to see how much I enjoy interacting with you guys. Let me know if you enjoyed this video and I might do similar ones in the future. Until next time, guys, have the best day ever. Bye. For anyone who struggles folding fitted sheets, I just want you to know you're not alone. And I'm here for you. And I understand you.